our next question is uh, running electricity a long distance. Uh, specifically, someone was asking about if you need to run electricity f- like outdoors and you're going to run it 100 feet, what would you recommend for a smaller sound system? And this is something Ben Stone I've dug into a little bit, so we'll give I'll give Ben's level of an answer. But I wanted to kind of get, uh, you know, Cubby, Dan, when you guys have to do sound, whether it's ceremony or maybe a, like a cocktail system or something like that, at a distance, how are you handling that these days? I went digital. I went uh, battery. I went battery, total battery, um, for that reason. But I also had in my contract that we had to be 25 feet within a, within an outlet or viable power. So then I left it on the I left it on the venue and or the bride and groom said that we have to have power to 25 feet. Um, but recently, my ceremony sound for any outdoor things, I went bat- purely battery operated. And you mentioned, of course, the in your contract, have there been situations where you had it in your contract, even though it was there, you still end up there like, okay, where's an outlet? Um, is there an outlet in this zip code? I ad- yeah, I address it in my planning meeting because I've oh, okay. been in my market for so many years. I know what venues, uh, a lot of the ceremony sites are. It, it'd have to be an out-of-market venue that I would that I didn't have any knowledge about. Um, but I kind of addressed it and be like, hey, I'm going to, you know, 25 feet within the contract. So either the venue needs to provide me power up until that point where it's closed um, or whatever. But yeah, I, I did my contract within 25 feet. Um, I had to be within a power, within a power source. Hmm. Yeah. The, the problem that I run into with that, and, and I, I guess maybe because I'm just thinking of a bunch of our different venues that are, where that's that's all well and good to say that it's there, but they basically would be, sorry, like you know, here's where our outlet is, and and make it work. Um, and and I, and I realize that's you know how you, however you have to play the game, I guess for lack of better terms. But I, I'm very similar to Cubby. Now I have a hundred foot extension cord, like I carry that in the trailer. One is my uh oh. You know, but something happened to the battery, or I accidentally forgot to put it in the put it in the cars. That happened one time. Um, but basically, like I'm good to go, and I've got it. And and you want you want to make sure. And this is something that I learned a long time ago. You want to make sure it's high quality and it's high gauge. No, no, I'm sorry. The number is low, but it's the thick gauge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, that's high weird. quality. Like, the way the numbers work. This, yeah, lower gauge. Yeah, the smaller the number, the the better you, better for long distances. Um, and it's also the heavier the cord, so just be prepared for that. Um, but so that's what I did for a large time. But then what I, I mean, very similar, I was running into a problem where it was just like, they were, you know, hundred feet was, was if I was lucky, you yeah. know, the, it's out in the middle of this field somewhere it's whatever. So I bought, I bought a generator and I started carrying that as an option, but then that became more hassle than it really was worth because of the weight and everything else. I mean, it was an add on fee and, you know, whatever. And I, you know, I covered it, but it was just, it was a pain because it's yeah. heavy. And then you're done and you stick it in the vehicle and it smells like fumes. And it's just like, it was a pain. So I went battery powered. I haven't looked back for, for ceremony, for cocktails, for the length of time that they are having a good battery, like the Jackery, or I have an energizer that they don't even make anymore. Um, but something along those lines is going to be great. If you need it for a long term, like, a, you know, throughout the night generator, you, you know, get one of the Hondas or mine's a when W E N mm-hmm. got it from Harbor Freight. So the, Basically, it's a knockoff of the Honda. Um, pure sign, you know, if you're going to go the generator route. But that's just, that's going to be what's going to be better for you. Um, and then you're not restricted to where you're at. For sure. You can go where you need to go. Because I, I will also say, well, I'm on, I just had a new venue that I was playing at. It was in September. Beautiful venue. They have, a, they've been like thinking about a lot of things. However, they did not run power to the ceremony site. So when I showed up, they said, here's our power. It was on a deck of the like house that was probably 50, 75 feet from the ceremony. And they're like, well, you can sit up here. I'm like, no, no, I've got battery. I'm down here. Guess what? I'm now on their preferred list. Sure. Because they saw where I was at and where my speakers are at. Not, I just got to go because that's where I had to go. Mm-hmm. So. Nice. Batteries, uh, you know, the direction that uh, that we've gone using the Jackery type um, boxes. I've got that 2000, it's a 2000, or is the, no, the Jackery 1000 um, is the one that I have that has an 880 watt uh, battery in there that will handle the system. You guys have probably seen the videos on it uh, that we've done. We did some testing with it. That's easily the the easiest way to do it. Uh, now with the, the verse uh, tops, you know, battery tops, so you know, we can do that and then you don't have the, the put to power the tops. For those situations, though, where you need to, uh, Dan mentioned, of course, the lower number of gauge. You've got your 100-foot cable. You can go, you know, just at the hardware, the, the, you know, the big box store, Home Depot, whatever. 
and they've got their they do have you know 50 and 100 foot cable uh gauge wise if you're looking at a 16 gauge wire that for running a sound system would probably be a limit of about i'd say 40 feet or maybe maybe a 50 foot would be as, as much of a sound system for you know two speakers and and anything for for power that's that's going to be a max if you want to go 100 foot you should be looking really at a 12 gauge um, extension cord and it wouldn't be out of if you were going to be running subs and, and highs at 100 feet distance you'd probably be better off running two 12 gauge or running a uh, 10 gauge and 10 gauge is heavy and it's expensive incredibly expensive so in the inverse if you're going to be running you know two tops and two subs and you're going to be running at 100 feet you may get to crazy and wanting to run uh, from two different outlets and running four cords literally to uh, be sure that you're able to run enough power because a a 16 gauge uh, wire that's running at that 100 feet they say that they can handle about 13 amps of power but in reality you're probably looking at closer to eight amps of power if it's stretched out nicely you're going to probably get a little bit more if you've got it coiled it's going to heat and it's going to lose some of its uh its efficiency for handling power so the rule of thumb is to get the biggest the biggest uh, gauge or the smallest number gauge the biggest wire you can for whatever distance you are and you watch it sometimes especially like we have a um, fleet farm here and they do farm extension cables so i got a 75 foot uh, 12 it was a 12 3 75 foot one and that that i could run you know pretty much almost anything i'm going to get a full 15 amps of power on that if i really wanted to uh, push it that hard and it, and the sm bigger gauged wire the fatter wire the less heat you're going to be creating also which is also a very important thing but as uh, brian uh, brian reds talked about the battery stuff is here and it's just best to embrace some of that technology and he's he's done many videos talking about that and showing off a lot of the uh, battery powered stuff out there so it's good to see you tonight brian thank you for joining us okay so let's jump to our next question here guys <laughs> 